Welcome everybody to Mikey's Gaming Awaits us. Today we're going to show you how to tame a donkey the easy way without a trap. In this method, what you will need is on your person, you will need a crossbow, one or two tanks, depending on how long you plan to be down there. Uh, flippers are optional, scuba bottoms are optional, and at least 200 trank arrows. On one times, it takes seven superior kibble to tame a 150 donkey, and it takes approximately 32 minutes. Currently, we're on a, I'm playing on official, and it is two times, and it, we are going to tame one, maybe two, to show this method, and it takes, it takes four superior kibbles and approximately 22 minutes a piece in this method you will also need besides those that basic gear you will need a itchy itchy thesaurus uh the dolphin uh it is you can do that solo or if you want to be a little safer you can have a tribe mate uh follow you around with a decent bassy so that they can get anything that aggro's on you down there off you so that you can stay on the donkey for this example as me and my tribe mate have completed the alpha tech cave which we run every so often for free on the island. We will be using our tech goggles to help us out and identifying and locking onto our donkeys. If you do not have the tech goggles, that's okay. Use that spyglass, it's very helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. Where we're gonna be hunting for donkeys is what an area I call the trench that runs from the north and south on the eastern side of the center map. Donkeys are found in a plethora of levels here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look for anything 130 or above, as well as hopefully show you a good example of the amount of donkeys that can be found in this area. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so there's two of them now. There was one. It's a level 25 and a level 95. 95. 95 male. Yeah, I hopped off to take a closer look, and that's when they got aggroed on me. There's like four more here. I tell you what. Okay, we got the 95, we got the 125. We got a 20, a 60, another 95. What level are you over here there, buddy? An 85? Okay. So as you can see in this area, and I will mark the map here, we are at 21.9 by 80. There are plenty of options for donkeys. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to go for the level 90 female right here. What do you think? What do you think, uh, Ground Pounder, the level 90 female, or do you want to go for the 95 male? So at this point, we were having technical difficulties. For some reason, the tracking system was not working. Pro tip, always ensure you have that tracking system going if you're in the deep and you're working with a tribe mate. Unfortunately, Ground Pounder had to come back, meet up with me so that I can then follow him to another grouping that wasn't too far away of donkeys that had much better levels, as you will see. More worthwhile. Something we could possibly add to our breeding line. Okay, there's a few here. Let's take a look at these. We got, ooh, a 135 female. Oh, it had to be a 135, right? Oh, of course. We How many did we get the other day? I don't know, four or five, and they were all 135s. Would it be male or female? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to hit up this 135. It's got uh, 28 points into health, 27 points into uh, stam. 28 points into food, 28 points into weight, and 23 points into melee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my inventory. I'm going to take my handy-dandy crossbow. We're going to throw it into our hot bar. And the great thing about the dolphin is we can actually fire while on the dolphin. Okay, we just got to keep in mind to take it slow and easy. Keep it in your trap, in your sights. And because as soon as you hit that donkey with your first arrow, it's going to go bonkers. It's going to run away from you. So you have to stay on it 
You see what I mean? Immediately ran away. You have to stay on it and pay attention to what's around you. And that is what your co-pilot or your support buddy is going to do. They're going to keep an eye out for anything that may attack you. Now, the donkeys aren't super fast, so you can easily stay up with them with the with the itchy. Now, Got it. Okay, thank you. If it starts to go low below you, put away you have to put away your crossbow because it will not allow you to dive. It will allow you to go up, but not dive. As you can see with the tech goggles, it allows us to get a little bit better idea of how much torpo damage we're doing compared to its health. And we're gonna fast forward through this section until we get to it being knocked out. Not that donkeys were ever really hard to find on the. You got three donkeys on your tail. Okay. So you might want to cut left or right. Kind of get out of okay, the Okay, she's down. Get over there. Okay, well. As you see, she is now down. Okay, as you can see, our donkey is passed out, and we are going to check on it in just a second. We have plenty of time. Okay, so we should be good to tame this guy up. Let's put in the uh, kibble into this lovely well, donkey we have here. And she's tamed up. Let's see how we did. How did we do with her? 41 points into health. Yeah. 37 points into stam. 44 points into food. 40 points into weight. 39 points into melee. Not amazing, but not bad for a 135 tame. And... Always, of course, if you have them, bring your cryopods so you can cryopod your tame up. Keep her safe. And well, let's thank you everybody for joining us on this donkey taming adventure. We hope it was very helpful. This taming adventure took us approximately an hour and 15 minutes. And in that time, we came up with three donkeys. 
a 135 tame, a 140 tame, and while we were taming the 140, we, were, we found another 135, so we decided to tame that up too. As you can see in this area, there are a ton of donkeys, and in this method, you can tame multiple donkeys at one time. Keep in mind, with your dolphin, you can outrun most things if you do not have a tribe mate and you want to do it solo. Just keep your head on a swivel, and we hope to see you next time.